This is Coach Lee, and I'm going to talk to those of you who have been heartbroken. First of all, I want to ask you, do you really want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you? Because right now you probably feel like you do. You probably feel like you will take this person back however you can get them. And of course, you want them to want you back. And so in that way, in many ways, you are pining after a different person because this person has changed most of the time when someone has been broken up with. There was a time when the other person was telling them, I love you, I'll never leave you, maybe even please don't leave me. You two probably talked about the future and forever and things that projected the relationship into the future. But now this person is talking differently. And so in many ways, you are in love with another person. Now this person could come back and I'm going to talk about that later in the video that this is not hopeless and I'm not saying that it is, but we want you to be strong because that's the most attractive frame you can be in. Being strong is the way you can get your ex back because it's very attractive. And so I'm going to help you with that. I'm not just here to try to encourage you to feel better, even though you've been heartbroken. I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get your ex back if you want your ex back. But first, I want to talk to you about some more things. You need to set standards that you want to be with someone who wants to be with you. You would not be with someone who has done this to you. And no one is perfect. We all make mistakes. And this person could have a change of heart. And that's a different matter because there is forgiveness. And sometimes people just lose their way and don't know what they want in the moment. Or there's even circumstances that can prevent them from being able to get it and, and to be with you. But in the moment, you will set the standard that says you don't want to be with someone who does not want to be with you. And really, that should be something you say to yourself on a daily basis. I don't want someone who doesn't want to be with me. So turn it around. This is a negative. This is something that's not attractive. This person does not want to be with you. If, as I'm going to talk about in the second point, if you had just met this person and they didn't want to be with you, it would not mean much to you. It would actually be a deal breaker. You would move to someone else or you would move on with your life. You would reflect and this would not be crushing you because you have intimacy with this person. It hurts and you feel the rejection more because you thought this person was close to you. You thought this wouldn't happen and you miss the intimacy and rejection hurts the most from someone that we are intimate with. When it's a stranger, rejection is not fun but it certainly doesn't hurt like it does when we are intimate with someone. And so that's what's going on. If you had just met this person, it would be a deal breaker. And so that is what you have to remind yourself that this is a no go from them, that you will be with someone who wants to be with you, who would beat down doors to be with you and not someone who would walk away. The third point I want to make to the heartbroken is that you need to remember your past heartbreaks because in the moment, you probably said a lot of the same things. You probably thought, will I ever get over this? You probably thought there's no one else like him or her out there. You probably thought you were going to hurt forever, but you got over it. You were able to love again. You were able to be happy again. And this is like that situation. You will be able to get past this. You will be able to get over this. You have been there before. It hurts. It sucks. It's not fun but you will survive, you will thrive, and you will be on the other side of it one day soon. The pain is temporary. Even though it's real, it hurts, and it's devastating in many ways, but you know that this too shall pass. There will be light, and you are focusing on that as the days go forward. You're allowing yourself to grieve, but in memory, in remembrance of these past heartbreaks, you know that you can survive, and you can thrive, and you can get through this and you will. One way to make that happen faster is to surround yourself with people who love you, people who will not break up with you, like family members and friends. It is not to try to date right away because you will actually just prolong the process of grief and getting over this and getting stronger because you actually just transfer and you end up using the same emotional muscles you were using before. And so they don't get that time to rest and recover. So I do not encourage you to just hop back out there and start dating right away. That's not what the data says actually helps you. That's not what 20 years of coaching has shown me actually helps. Giving yourself some time to grieve, and I don't mean years. We're talking three, four months to focus on you, to surround yourself with friends and family who love you, and to allow yourself to heal and deal with this and learn from this and grow from this, that's when 
you will actually be better off in three or four months because I see a lot of people who try to jump back out there and date too quickly. They think someone else romantically involved with them will just make them feel better and forget about their ex and forget about this and move forward. But actually, oftentimes, they end up relapsing and feeling the pain again that they did not allow themselves to feel because they just simply moved the focus onto someone else. And it's a cheap and shallow way to deal with it. And if that's something that you do, I'm not saying you're cheap and shallow. I'm just saying that basically it's like taking a pain pill. It might make you feel better in the moment, but long term, it actually does not help the problem. And because you're using something that's just being numbed up, you actually could end up making it worse. So surround yourself with friends, family, with people who love you, focus on yourself and give yourself time to grieve. And you never know when during that time, when you are focused elsewhere, that your ex will come back or will reach out. If I hadn't heard it many times over the last two decades, I wouldn't be telling you that. It's amazing how it can work that way. The fourth thing I want to say to the heartbroken is to take it one day at a time. Become a master of focusing right here. In today's world, we have been taught to focus on the future, to anticipate the weekend, to think about what's coming later and not living in the moment. And unfortunately, that takes life away from us because you can't live in the future. You're not programmed. You're not designed to live in the future. You are designed to live for the moment. You're designed to live in the present. That's all you can take. When you take on too much, when you think too far forward, it's too much to handle. You are not able to deal with a future that's days and days out. You're able to deal with a future that's a few seconds out. And that's where you need to focus. It will help your anxiety. It will help you feel better. It will make you stronger. It will be less to deal with because you don't have to get your ex back today to get them back. If you don't get them back today, you don't lose them forever. It's not like you're holding on to them hanging over a cliff. Stay right here in the seconds in front of you. That's where life is. You can't live three days in the future. You can focus there from now, but it is a fool's errand because you can't live there. And all it does is create anxiety and it takes away the joy of the moment. Live in the present. Develop your ability to take life one day at a time, one moment at a time. Some of the people I know who are best at this try to focus on the moments between the seconds. If you do that, you will master anxiety instead of it mastering you. Before I get to the next point, take a quick second, click the subscribe button below so you can be notified when I have more videos like this. The fifth thing I want to say to the heartbroken is that you can get your ex back. It's not impossible. And a lot of people will only give it a day or two or a week or two and say, they're gone, they've moved on, it's over, it's done. And that's a lot to have to process because you haven't given it a fair try. You haven't given it enough time. And yet you are deciding you were defeated when really you don't know. And that's the best attitude to take. You look into the future only in the seconds in front of you and you decide, I could get them back. I could not. I don't know. I'm going to give myself the best chance. And I have videos on how you can do that. I also have the emergency breakup kit, which I'll link to in the description below, that can help you get your ex back. And the thing is, if you do the right things, then you can be assured that you're giving it the best chance possible and that you don't have to just simply accept defeat. That there is a chance. That there is a good chance in many situations. And if you will just accept that, that you are doing all you can, you're doing what you know to do, then you can focus on the moments right now, right in the seconds in front of you, and you can focus on life knowing you're giving yourself the best chance. In the end, you can't control your ex and you don't want to. You don't want to be with a robot. You don't want to be with someone that you have to say special pickup lines to or magic texts to get them back. You want to be with someone who realizes the breakup was a mistake, that they miss you and see your place in their life and that they realize they were wrong. Obviously, you wish that this person never did this and you want to be with someone who would never break up with you and they could become that person. I have seen many breakups turn into terrific relationships where the person who did the dumping realizes their mistake and that they almost lost the other person. And so that can happen. It can be wonderful again and you can get your ex back. But the key is to do what you know to do that I talk about in my videos and the emergency breakup kit and then let go. Do your best to let go and to just let time work on your ex and figure that 
It's in God's hands. It's in your ex's hands. And you are going to focus on you and do the other things I mentioned in this video. And that no matter what, you are going to be fine. This has been Coach Lee. And as always, thank you for watching.